There are multiple ways of creating fire. Today I'm going to show you the easy one. For that we first need to find some good footage. You can either capture it yourself or do it like me and find some online on sites like Paxels. By searching for fire, campfire or fireplace you can find a lot of good results. What we want is footage where the background is black and we can't see any of the wood. I will download multiple ones so that we have something to choose from later. At the end of the video I will show you how to make your footage loop so that you can use it more flexible in your scene. In Blender I've prepared a campfire model which are just basically some free scans I found on Sketchfab put together into one model. With the import images as planes add on activated I'll press Shift A Image Images as planes and locate my footage. Since fire emits light, I'll delete the principled BSDF shader and use an emission shader instead. Make sure to activate cyclic on the image texture. Scale up your image to the correct scale and then add a transparent shader and mix it with the emission shader. I'm using the node wrangle add-on here for some quick shortcuts. Now plug your image into the factor of the mix shader which will make the black background transparent. The fire currently looks very flat, so I'll duplicate the plane a few times to cheat some depth. To remove the part of the clip that is underneath the fire, I'll add a loop cut with Ctrl R and then delete the lower face. You can make the fire brighter by increasing the emission strength. Currently you can clearly see the repetition in the footage. So with one plane selected I'll make a new material out of the old one and in the shader editor I'll do the same with the video clip. Now I can just use the offset slider to have it start at a different frame. I'll then also do it for the other planes as well. Since my clip loops I don't have to worry about the clip reaching the end since it will seamlessly start over. Since the planes themselves don't cast enough light I want to add a separate light. I first need to go into the object properties and under visibility deactivate shadow. Now I can add a point lamp and place it right above the fire. I then turn the strength way up and change the color to orange. I then add a keyframe to the power of the lamp and open the graph editor. Depending on your graph editor you might not see your line, but by pressing Ctrl and middle mouse and then sliding down you can adjust the display of your graph editor. In the modifier tab I'll add a noise modifier and turn the strength way up. This way we can give the lamp some flickering as if it's from the fire itself. Render this out and you might have this result. For the torch it's basically the same thing. Import your footage, set it to cyclic and change the shader to emission. Add a transparent shader and mix it with the footage as factor. Add a layer weight node, set it to 0.7 and invert the facing output. This way, when looking at the plane from the side, it will get black. We can now multiply that over the footage going into the mix factor, which will make it disappear when looking at it from the side. Set the origin to the base of the footage and place it in the torch. You can now duplicate the plane and rotate it 90 degrees to fake the flame as three dimensional. Make sure that the fire actually goes straight up as it would in real life. In my case I need to add some geometry that is actually burning so I just quickly add a UV sphere. I just give it a dark color and turn off the specular. As I did before I'll add a lamp to cast some more orange light. I then animate the power with a noise modifier in the graph editor to give it some flickering. So how to make your footage loop? 
In DaVinci Resolve, import your footage and drag it onto your timeline. If it's imported some audio as well, right click on it and deactivate link clips. Now you can just delete the audio track. Go to the middle of the clip, press B and cut it in half. Then swap the order. Now remove about 20 frames from the end of the first and the start of the second clip. This will give the video transition something to work with. You can now use the smooth cut transition to blend between both clips. Export your footage and you are done.